Bob, what kind of sentence could she actually face here? How much she could serve is not settled. She's not likely to get the 10 years maximum allowed for by the law. It's another question whether or not she'd be likely to escape prison time entirely as her lawyer hopes. Now, take a look at the video. You see Abby Lee Miller outside Pittsburgh Federal Court where she entered guilty pleas to two counts, one count of concealing bankruptcy assets, one count of structuring an international monetary transaction. The prosecution told the judge Miller smuggled up to $150,000 in a Australian cash into the country in Ziploc bags hidden in the luggage of those who were traveling with her. She texted someone, quote, we have all this foreign cash, need a little money laundering. She would not answer questions as she was leaving court, except for what does she have to say to her fans? Uh, I love them. Thank you. This has been a challenging time for Ms. Miller. She appreciates the words of encouragement and support from around the world. Was there cash in Ziploc bags being hidden in people's luggage? I'm not going to answer any questions. I appreciate your asking them and I appreciate your interest, but I'm not answering them. Now, the prosecution said in court that under sentencing guidelines, she could face two to two and a half years in prison. The defense is arguing that she paid back all of her bankruptcy creditors, so that she should serve, in the defense's opinion, either no time at all or up to six months in prison. She remains free, and her sentencing date for now is set for October 11th. That could be pushed back because there's a similar case involving uh, restitution and its impact on sentencing that's making its way through the appeal system, and they may wait for that to come down before she's sentenced at Pittsburgh Federal Court downtown. Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.